welcome to this, and this is why I haven't done a video in a couple days, because I was waiting for this DVD to show up, the best of 2007 Fontana A. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering why I would buy this DVD. The reason is because I actually love the concept of this DVD. I wish the WWE would do DVDs like this more often, particularly when it comes to Raw and SmackDown and ECW, put on the best of the TV matches on a DVD. Um, so, you know, I felt compelled to buy this. Um, also, the fact that um, I got it when Ring of Honor had their 33% off sale. So uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of money on it either. I, I got it for kind of a cheap price, so that helped. Um, overall, um, I will say this. I thought that the production values, the first thing I think you'll notice when you, if, if you get this, is the production values are great and are every bit as good as anything that WWE does, which is very nice to see because that's one thing about TNA DVDs that I haven't always liked is the production values, but the production values were, were much better on this. Um, the guy that does the voiceovers for the TNA, uh, you know, like pay-per-view promos um, and intros, uh, Barry Scott, I believe is his name, if I remember right, um, he pretty much emceed this whole thing, and it was so much better than just having TNA and West who usually do this sort of thing because it made it feel like a much bigger thing, and it really helped this DVD out a lot, so that was very nice. Um, so that was cool. Um, and then we had, uh, seven matches, which were, uh, which were the, which were voted for by the fans, the top seven matches for the fans. And I'll get back to that because mm, that was kind of, mm, I, that's my one big gripe about this DVD. And then in between that, you had the awards. You had the 2007 end of the awards, kind of like this, the, how the WWE used to do the slammies. And you had titles like the finisher of the year. Uh, knockout of the Year, uh, Tag Team of the Year, X Division, Superstar of the Year, Top Feuds of the Year, uh, Who to Watch in 2008, uh, which is interesting, which is an interesting one to watch, uh, Most Memorable Moment of the Year, and MVP of the Year. And I won't give away who won those, you, just in case somebody doesn't want to know. But um, I thought all of these were pretty good. I, you know, the fans voted for it. I, I agreed with most of the stuff, and I understood where a lot of this was coming from, so I didn't have any problems with a lot of it. Uh, my one big problem with the kind of awards thing was I think some of them dragged on a little too long, and they had a little too much face time for some of the wrestlers. And um, though I understand they were trying to hype up it, as many people as they could, which was nice to see, but I think they kind of overdid it in a way. But it was still pretty cool, and everything was... was like I said, there was nothing like that just shown out that just made you go, huh? But, uh, though I will say the winner of the tag team of the year is, is pretty interesting, and uh, same thing if you if you they do that and then they do the uh, X Division Superstar of the Year, and both of those are pretty interesting. Um, it's it's just kind of interesting to watch, but uh, those were those, those were a lot of fun I thought, and then you had the matches themselves and. That is actually my biggest problem with this DVD, which shouldn't be the biggest problem with this DVD, though, I, like I've said in other DVDs, um, I am very critical of best ofs because I think they should literally be best ofs. Um, and I don't think, even though I understand the fans voted on this, I really don't understand what the fans were voted for. Um, and I would love to see what the fans had to choose from from this list because... Uh, it, it was pretty astounding. It's just, I mean, we had Kurt Angle versus Sting was voted the best match of the year. Kurt Angle versus Sting from Bound for Glory. Eh. Eh. And you had no lethal lockdown, which was kind of shocking. You didn't have either of the two uh, Smojo versus Christian Cage matches, which was pretty shocking. I know uh, Instant Classic talked about this as well, um, so I'm not the only one. Also, um, you know, I... I was kind of surprised we didn't get any impact matches. I, I figured that we would, have, you know, you could throw on the first, uh, the main event from the first two-hour impact. I think would have, could have, could have gone on this easily. And uh, same thing with uh, there's a few other matches. The, the Storm Harris match from Impact, the rematch that was on Impact. I think you get stuck on here as well. So that was kind of surprising. The matches that they included, though, you had Destination X, the Elevation X match. It was a good match. I'm not going to say it's not a good match, but I just kind of surprised it was on here because I didn't think it was that good that it, you know, that, that was better than Lethal Lockdown. What were, you know, huh? Huh? I mean, you know, probably one of the one of the better scalpel matches I've ever seen, and I don't think that I've ever seen a scalpel match that was probably head and shoulders above this. Um, 
So, you know, I, I kind of agree there, but, you know, eh, whatever. Uh, then we had the uh, King of the Mountain match, which I have no problem with this being on there. This was definitely one of the best matches that they put on all year, so no problem there. Um, then we had the Winner Takes All titles match, uh, Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe from Hard Justice. Why was this on here? Why? You know, if you want to... I, I, I guess I just don't understand TNA fans. I guess I just don't. I don't get why this match was on there. I, I actually watched this again on here. Just to say, well, maybe if I didn't watch it in the context of the pay-per-view, I might like it better. I still hated it. I, I should say hated it. I still... It was, yeah. Still felt the same way about the match. I'll just I'll just put it that way. Um, then we had the uh, Texas Death match. Uh, Chris Harris versus James Storm. No problem with that being on here. A lot of people felt this was the best match TNA put on all year, so no problem with that being on here. Uh, Christian Cage versus Kaz, the ladder match, number one contenders ladder match. Again, no problem with that being on here. This made perfect sense for being on here. Then you had Ultimate X, LAX versus Triple X. I didn't like this match as much as a lot of people do did, though I do understand that a lot of people you know bow, uh, bow at the. Uh, at the altar of this match, so I have no problem with that being on here. And then we had the Bound for Glory, Sting versus Kurt Angle match. Eh, I do have a problem with that being on here, because I didn't think it was that good. And I definitely think there were better matches um, on here, or that TNA put on. Though that's my only really gripe, is the match selection. And um, I think because of the match selection, I can't give it a recommend. I wouldn't recommend the DVD, but I do think it's a good DVD. And uh, like I said, I thought the production values were stellar. Um, definitely something to uh, for TNA to build on, particularly going from uh, Global Impact, which I thought the production values on that were pretty good as well. And then going to this, this pretty much had everything you would want from a best of, you know, 2007, except for the matches. I, I just, I, 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 you know. Why there's why Lethal Lockdown to me is the biggest match that you had on here, and also the fact that there's only seven matches. And to me, if you're going to do a best of, you really do need to do a top ten. Though I do understand that the awards thing took up a lot of time on this DVD. I think if you cut down some of those segments that you had, I mean, some people were just talking forever. It seemed um, about you know, and you didn't really need that. You just needed a little you know, short little clips. Um, when it came to this, I think it would have worked a lot better. I think it. You know, I understand you wanting to give people time, and I understand you wanting to hype people up. I have no problem with that. I just think that you could have had more matches on here um, if you would have cut some of that down, because I do think it went a little lengthy when it came to that portion of it. Um, other than that, like I said, th 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 those are my only gripes. They're kind of mild gripes, but they are my only gripes. So I, I think if you're not a diehard TNA fan, you're not necessarily, you might not enjoy this. So I'd only give it a 7.5. But I do think uh, I do think if you like the concept of this DVD, I, I do think you need to pick it up. I do think this is better than uh, the 50 Greatest Moments, which um, is the only other DVD I believe it was ever released on Walmart. This this DVD is actually going to be released in Walmart, so I'm hoping this DVD does a much does a lot more sales than uh, 50 Greatest Moments because 50 Greatest Moments to me is just kind of just a blah DVD and really kind of a you know, not not even a good. It's it's good, just maybe barely, but um, it, it's not a DVD that I, I I was really kind of disappointed in that DVD, to be honest. Uh, however, um, I do think, like I said, if if this kind of compels to you, and if you if you knowing the matches, if you can be okay with the matches that are on here, I would say I'd recommend you picking it up. Um, however, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody because I don't think everyone would necessarily like this. But, but there you go. Um, check it out. Um, I know, you know, Ring of Honor will probably be able to sell it for, you know, they'll have their sales going on if you want to check it out there. And anywhere else, you should be able to pick it out, I would imagine, for about 15 bucks. Um, you should be able to pick it up somewhere there, which for 15 bucks is not too bad of a deal. So, uh, there you go. Um, I'd give the DVD a 7.5, and, uh, I have included the, uh, the star ratings for the matches that I give. Some of them I never gave star ratings to. Some of them I hadn't rated before, I don't think. So, there you go. You have those. Um, other than that, I'm out. Have a good one. Later.